this memory allocation we have to insert the values we have to read the values from the keyboard right that is what done by for loop what is the position value 2 is a position value that is less than or equal to what is i value that is fourth value the condition is true what exactly we are doing in the deletion part enter the position which position i have to take out from the array hello everyone welcome to the session on data structure today in this session we are going to discuss the unit 2 that is uh, operations on array right in this we are going to discuss what all the operations we are going to do on the array so myself indu j the faculty of computer science department vidyashram first aid college the temple of excellence mysore let us start today's session so what all the operations so basically what all the operations what we have on array is array traversing insertion on the array deletion of elements from the array then sorting and searching these are all the basic operation what we are we can do on the array so, so let us start what is traversing what do you mean by traversing that is nothing but traveling right traversing is nothing but traveling from one point to the other point with respect to our array when we are say it is traveling from one point to an another point it is nothing but from start point of the array to the end point of the array that is it will traverse from index 0 to index n minus 1 that is called as traversing and print all the element which is there in the array that will be printed as an element of the array that is what we call it as traversing right traversing is used to access each data item of the array exactly once starting from the first element till the last element so we can know what all the elements is there in the array so that is for traversing therefore the traversing is nothing but visiting each and every element of the array when we are traversing we are visiting all the index of the array so that is what visiting each and every element of the array is called as traversing let us see how we can do the traversing using the c programming right so this is a c program or c code to traverse each element of our array so as you know why we have uh, using this we have using this to include the header files uh, standard input output header files and konya.h header file then what we have is main function always execution start with the main function right so we are writing the main function then what all the variables we have declared we have to have one array so we are traversing array means we have to have one array right so we have to have one array i and what is the length of the array n gives what what is the length of the array i is i is nothing but the index of the array i is to refer the index of the array then what we have is clear screen does not you already know what is c how the syntax of the c works so we won't go much in detail regarding the syntax we'll put more light on the logic of it right so printf entire the size of array given below out of 100 elements what we have declared how many elements we want to enter we can give let us say i have given the n value as 5 right then print enter the elements of array how we can enter the element of array by using the for loop once we have to enter so this is a memory allocated for the array 1 2 3 4 and 5 right so this memory allocation we have to insert the values we have to read the values from the keyboard right that is what done by for loop for loop within the for loop we have a scanf statement why we use a scanf statement to read the input from the external devices that is our keyboard we are using the scanf once the for loop executed one value will be printed say 12 will be printed second time it will be what is the n value n value is 5 less than 5 till less than 5 5 times for loop has to be repeated and the array will be inserted within the values that is 0 1 2 3 and 4 right so next what we have is to print this array saying that we know the elements of array we have already visited the array hence we are printing the values or the elements of the array we are using print enter the element of the array r what all the element we have entered in the array this 
12, 25, 30, 31 and 40. These are the elements that what we have entered. So that has to be printed. How that will be? Within this for loop, within this for loop, we are using the print statement. To read what we are using, we are using the scan statement. To print, we are using the print statement. Once it has to be called less than 5 times and the array will be printed as 12, 25, 30, 31 and 40. These are all the elements of the array. That's what we are traversed each index, index 0, index 1, that is uh, A of 0, A of 1, A of 2, A of 3 and A of 4. Right. So, we visited each index of the array that is what nothing but the traversing if you want you can make a note of this particular program next another function or another operation what we have on array is insertion inserting the elements into the array as we have done insertion as we are, we are giving the elements into it is also called as inserting but we can insert once array is already declared we can insert in particular position for example if you can say this is my array 1, 2, 4, 5 and 6. Right. If this array, I want to insert the value 3 at the position 2. How we have to do that? That is called as insertion. Right. Insure, inserting the elements at the second position of the array. Second means at the particular position. In this example, I am inserting the value 3 at the index 2 right so how we can do this that is nothing but insertion we'll discuss the c code for this insertion also insertion operation means inserting or adding one or more data elements into the array that's what we are doing here right we are adding one more data element into the array based on the requirement a new element can be added at the beginning we can add here it or at the end or at the indexed value we can add where we can add at the beginning, we can add at the end or we can add at the indexed value. Particular index value, we can add the element. That is all about the insertion. Let us go with the C code for the insertion. This already, you know this part, right? How many variables we want? Of course, we want a variable array right one variable then i n n what is n n is a length of the array i is a variable to read the value of index in the array then which element i supposed to insert right what is the value of the element i supposed to insert and position on which position i want to insert so these are all the variables what we have to declare before going for the program then print enter the number of elements how many elements i want i want six elements so n value is equal to six you will read the n value as six then print enter the value same put the scanf statement within the for loop it will read the value of the array right six value of the array will be red then print array before insertion this is as what we have done with the traversing printing within the for loop we are printing within the for loop all the elements of array will be printed so now here comes with the insertion part what is insertion part i want to insert as i took the example the element three what is the element i want to insert the element 3, right? This is 1, 2, 4, 5 and 6, right? I want to insert the element 3. So, given the value of element as 3, now which position I want to insert? Position is 2, right? I want to insert at the second index value. So, this is my 0th index, 1st index, second index, third and fourth index. At this value, I suppose to insert the value three, right? So what I have to do, I have to check whether i is equal to n minus one or not. What is my i value? i is equal to five minus one, that is i is equal to four. Condition true? Yes, condition true. Then check while a position, position means this position, 
is less than or equal to i. What is the position value? 2 is a position value that is less than or equal to what is i value that is fourth value. The condition is true. Right. If the condition is true then we enter into the while loop. Right. What we are doing in the while loop? We are incrementing the index value i plus 1 e of what is i value? 4 plus 1. So, is equal to e of i. e of phi is equal to what is the value of a of y? That is 6. That will be incremented. Now, this 6 value is incremented and put it in the position of last position 6. Then decrement the i value. Again decrement i value. Now i minus minus i value is equal to 3. Now repeat the same until unless when e of position is equal to element. What is e of position? e of 2 is equal to 3. What after this? After this, I have to increment the complete array length. That is n value. What is n value before what we took is 5. That should be incremented. Now after inserting what is a n value? 6 is a length of the array. So n value has to be incremented. So after doing all these things, the resultant has to be printed. The resultant elements of the array has to be printed. That can be done using a for loop again. So what the resultant will be give? 1, 2 at the second position 3, third position 4, fifth position 5 and fifth position is 6. So uh, what is the n value? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 6 is the n value. What is the index value? 0 to 5. 0 to 5 is a index value. This is how you are going to insert the element. Once you have keep in mind that when we are doing the insertion, you have to increment the pointer value. You have to increment the index value as well as you have to increment the number of elements, the length of array value also. So this is all about the insertion operation on the array. Next operation what we have is deletion. What do you mean by deletion? Deleting the particular element from the array, from the given array. We have already inserted some values into the array. I don't want particular element in that position. I have to remove that element and have to reduce the size of the array. For example, if I declared a n value is equal to 10, once after deletion, After deletion, n value should be equal to 9, right? We have to reduce n minus minus we have to do. As in the previous operation, what we have done, we have incremented the value of n. Here we have to decrement the value of n. So deletion refers to removing an existing element from the array and reorganizing the elements of the array. That is what reorganizing the element of the array. Deletion can take place from the beginning end or at the particular position. Same as that of insertion. You can delete the element with the index value 0 or you can delete the element with the index value n minus 1 or you can delete the element at particular position or the particular index value. So you can do the deletion. So let us see the C program for the deleting elements. This already we know what are the variables we are supposed to declare. Array n value i and then the position from which I have to delete. Position is nothing but the index value. Position value will always give the index value where I have to delete the element. Then enter the element how we are in, uh, giving the value of n is equal to 6. Then enter the element of the array. Uh, it will read you the array from the keyboard. Then array before deletion, it will print you the array before deletion, whatever the array we have. Then here comes with the deletion part. Right? This is a deletion part. 
what exactly we are doing in the deletion part enter the position which position i have to take out from the array see uh, what is our n value n value is equal to 6 I have inserted some six element 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 elements in an array i want to delete this particular position what is the position of this look at the index 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 position of the element is third position right what is a position that is a third position 3 is a position from where i have to delete the element i is equal to position plus 1 what is i value i value is equal to 3 plus 1 so i is equal to 4 right now i value is equal to 4 while i is less than n minus 1 why i am checking this condition whether the given element or the given position is there in the array or not yes condition true that is 4 is less than or equal to 5 right then what i have to do i have to take a of i minus 1 what is my a of i value a of 4 minus 1 is equal to e of i what is my 4 minus 1 value e of 3 what is e of 3 value that is 4 right so e of 3 value has to be deleted this particular value will be deleted then increment the i value then reduce the length of the array n minus minus now what is the value of n n value is 6 so if i do 6 minus minus what i get n value is equal to 5 right this particular position value will be deleted and now the n value is equal to 4 this is to print the array what i have 1 2 3 4 is deleted 5 and 6 so, these will be the elements after the deletion on this particular array A. Clear? I hope all of you understood how many operations we have discussed so far. We have discussed traversing, insertion and deletion of the elements in an array. Okay, in the next class, we are going to discuss some more operations like sorting and searching operations. For today's session, we have uh, completed three operations operations on the array traversing how to traverse what is traversing what is insertion and how to insert using a c code and how to delete using the c code thank you